What's up guys? Caleb here and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite all-time pieces of footwear. This is the Zamberlin 980 Outfitter boot. They're GTX or Gore-Tex. This is an 11-inch boot and I've used this boot all over Alaska to do all kinds of hunting, treks, hiking. If you need a uh, one boot that is going to take you anywhere in Alaska um, within reason as far as cold weather goes this is the boot to go with uh, I've used this boot uh, on Kodiak I've used it in the Brooks range I've used it all over the place it is uninsulated um, I like high boots so if um, you're not into very tall boots uh, this boot might not be for you um, but that being said they added some pretty good features into this boot that even if you're not into tall boots um, it's got a lot of flexibility and doesn't constrict you uh, a lot on your calf like a lot of the taller boots do So let's go into the, some of the features of this boot First of all, it's a Vibram sole and what I like about the fact is they made on the sole is It's a stiff enough sole if you're going to go up into the crags if you're not spending a ton of time Mountaineering, but you do uh, go on some higher elevation hikes and in the rock sometimes it's flexible enough in the midsole and the design of it is slightly elevated heel that they take a lot of the uh, fatigue out of the boot by allowing um, the features of the boot to work for your foot and to move with your foot in a rocking motion. So um, some of those features you can see where they actually made it in the sole you know, push down on the end of the sole you'll see kind of how it uh, has a rocking motion there. But they also built the upper part of this Nubic leather um, which is super flexible and then you'll notice on a lot of boots that are really stiff leather on the back here you'll get some heel slip in some of these boots sometimes but they actually made a piece of waterproof uh, thinner uh, leather there and some extra stitching to allow some flexibility to take that out of the boot so you don't get that heel slip there and your heel can stay locked into this nice hard leather surface on the bottom but I will say it's important because of how stiff it is on the lower part, that you get the sizing right. So it's definitely uh, pays to go in, find a shop that carries them, put them on your feet, walk around, and make sure you are wearing the exact uh, socks and liner that you're gonna want in this boot. I usually rock this boot with two pairs of socks and two different liners. I won't go into the liners very much. I typically use the Zamberlin liners. Um, but as far as the socks go, I'll use the Altera Alpaca Conquer socks that we have in our store. Uh, for my early season stuff and going to later season, I'll use a little bit thicker sock, the Prevail, which is our medium weight sock. And I'll use a little bit of thinner uh, um, liner at that point. Um, so this sole also, it features dual densities in the sole itself. So that it's softer and harder in different areas, which is, allows you to use the boot for different features and kind of covers a little bit of everything. So it's got a denser uh, tip of your sole. So if you're um, climbing on some ledges that uh, you just need to kick the tip of your uh, foot in to get that um, traction to move upwards, it's great for that. And it's got a really stiff side sole, which is really awesome uh, for side hilling, uh, especially with heavy loads on your back, sheep country specifically, goat country. I mean, I've literally been walking on side hilling with just about half of this boot and not had it feel like it was going to roll off. It just felt like a nice stable platform moving throughout. This boot is a uh, Gore-Tex waterproof boot. They got the Gore-Tex one li liner going all the way up to the top of it. Um, and I find it works pretty good um, for being a leather boot. I mean, if you're going to spend two weeks in a boot, I've spent 16 days in this boots up in mountains before, and it stayed fairly waterproof for most of the hunt um, as long as I controlled my moisture the best. And that's a lot where I start using the moisture controlled socks uh, like the Altera Alpaca socks. Another thing I like about this boot is, and all my mountain boots, I always prefer them to have a rand. This is a three quarter inch rand, and they beveled the bottom to keep it from peeling back up. On my last pair of boots, this is my second pair of them. I've been running them for about seven years now. My first pair of boots, that is the part that fails first, is um, the rand starts peeling over the top, and um, the uh, leather can crack if you don't properly take care of it, but I think that goes with pretty much every boot. So that's a pretty straightforward, honest review there. And a lot of people will tell you, you know, maybe these boots will last forever, but nothing is going to last forever if you're doing five to 600 miles 
a year in some rocky stuff. This year on these pair of boots, I did uh, archery uh, bear hunt up in the Chugach Mountains. I've done 16 days on them. Sheep hunting, uh, which is probably 120, 140 miles. So this pair of boots, this was kind of a light year for me. And I still have probably about six to 700 miles on these pair of boots uh, just this year alone. Um, uh, more about the uh, boot itself. The one thing I really, really enjoy about this boot is if it's sized correctly, your heel does not move out of, this back, out of the back of the boot and it's really, really stiff. Um, the Vibram sole they put on here was specifically designed to help you break going downhill. So like if you're on one of those Kodiak goat hunts, or in some steep wet terrain in the Chugach where it's, you got all that grass up in the high country that's pretty wet from those fall rains. This is specifically made to stop you from sliding on a steep, um, steep slope, which is really nice when you're moving slow and with a heavy load on your back in the high country and you're just kind of maneuvering through some uh, technical terrain. It's a very nice boot. Overall, I've used this boot all over Alaska. Absolutely love it. Um, that being said, everybody's foot's a little bit different um, my feet are a little narrow um, but if you size them correctly you can get them in for wide feet or narrow feet and these just fit my foot extremely well so if you're looking for some place to start to looking for a boot that has a lot of features that could cover the most terrain and different types of environments in alaska i'd highly recommend this boot you can get it at sportsman's warehouse and a lot of different other retailers for about 450 bucks and that sounds like a lot of money, but I can tell you, you know, boots, good quality boots are investment. They're going to carry you everywhere you're going to go. And a pair of boots like this can last you five years or more. And that being said, you can also send these back to Zamberlin's and they'll put a new sole on them for you. So you can keep uh, going and going and going. Uh, as long as you take care of the leather, I use Obanoff's heavy uh, leather protection there and uh, try to put that on before and after every hunt. Um, the last feature I'm just going to go over is a lacing system. A lot of, You'll see the same type of lacing system on a lot of the new mountain boots and, that are made, uh, especially Itali Italian boots. I, I find that some of the best boot manufacturers in the world almost always come from Italy. These guys just know how to make good boots. So this system allows you to, they have a nice locking uh, lug right here that allows you to change the tension between the top of the boot and the lower part of the boot. And that's pretty common, you'll see a lot, but just one nice extra feature that they add to the boot. So um, depending on your terrain and how much of approach and flat land you have to do, you can change the tension in your upper boot. When you're going into some steeper terrain that's not as flat and you got a lot of variable conditions, it might help to tighten that up a little bit so you have more control and you have less uh, less um, chance to roll your ankle. But if you're in a lot more mellower terrain, you can leave that a little bit looser and even more help reduce the uh, fatigue on your foot. So hopefully it's helpful to somebody out there. Um, if you're looking for one boot to do it all in Alaska, this is the boot that I recommend.